This farm has been in the family since uh, Dad bought it in uh, 1970. Uh, a lot of people said it was uh, too much. Everyone said that it wasn't going to work, but I think he proved everyone wrong. Our system is uh, quite a bit different than other systems of raising hogs. Most of your modern commercial operations right now, when they farrow, they are in a crate that the sow is only allowed to stand up and lie down. Whereas the individual huts that we use out in the pasture are big enough for the sow to turn around and freely move about with her litter in there. Several years ago, uh, we were kind of at a crossroads in our operation where whether we wanted to go towards a more modern commercial setup and make a large investment, or we could continue to basically raise the hogs that we've always done on this site, making a few minor adjustments as well as going antibiotic free. We've pasture failed at this location for almost 40 years now. We're very glad that we made the choice to go antibiotic free and keep raising the hogs the way that we raise them because at the end of the day, we are raising a premium product. I mean, we're much more at the mercy of the weather out here than we are in, inside a, a brand new confinement building. We also face problems with diseases like everybody else and those are challenges that we can meet we just need to take a little extra care and management for the pig, whether it's more bedding in their shed or, or whatever we need to do to make the, the animal more comfortable. And uh, we take a lot of pride in that. To come here every day and work with each other, it's, you just feel like it's a blessing. For us, and uh, my nephews that work with us, we get to be out in the fresh air, not in a uh, defiant system. Um, and I think that has also a benefit to the hogs that we raise. It's not just a job that you go to, you know, you all have you know, your own blood, sweat, and tears in it. I'm Jim. And I'm Josh. And I'm Ralph. And we're pork producers from Eastern Iowa. Mm -hmm.